All right, so what's a strategy you can implement into your Shopify dropshipping business? Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the VFAM. So I put together some things to kind of go over for you guys. So when it comes down to your Shopify dropshipping business, obviously you're gonna use you know, your Instagram shoutouts or your Facebook ads to generate your first few sales and get your first few customers, right? But what you want to make sure you're not doing is you're only focusing on, you know, those first few sales and only focusing on, you know, continuously generating new customers and not capitalizing off the customers you already have. One of the reasons why you don't want to do that is because focusing only on that actually will lead to you losing out on extra revenue on the back end. And on the back end, I'm actually going to share with you guys exactly what I mean by that. But that's basically wanted to make sure something that, you know, I clarify with you guys that you're not only focusing on just the front end and continuously getting customers because you can capitalize on customers that you already have coming through the door. One thing that I also wanted to go over is that every single customer that you get can potentially be a repeat customer or if not be turned into a loyal customer as long as they're nurtured correctly though. And the reason why is because again, if you're getting a customer to obviously have the trust to come in and buy a product from you, you know, obviously if you're showing them the right support and you're following up with them, you can definitely turn them into, you know, a repeat customer. A loyal customer is a little bit harder, but a repeat customer you can definitely do. And there's a few different ways you can do that. The main way that you do that is by having a backend system in place, you know, being able to following up through email sequences um, and having specific type of, you know, content going out that actually shows the customers that uh, first off that you care that they came in and bought, but also building value. You know, after you get that customer through the door, if you have no type of communication after they buy from you once, you're pretty much just leaving money right on the floor. Uh, and the reason why that's happening is because these customers, if they bought from you once, you know, it's very likely that they could potentially buy from you again. So one of the things that we actually teach in our P2P accelerator is how you can build an effective backend system, you know, with different email templates, you know, swipe files with different emails that you can actually just copy and paste. We have uh, what we call the post purchase sequence. And this is a sequence of emails that are going out to our customers after they buy. So we have our first email obviously going out as soon as they buy. The second email goes out a few days after letting them know like, hey, thank you so much for buying and having the trust to buy from us uh, your order. You should be receiving your orders in such and such days. Obviously it's accurate to their shipping time, but that's the second email we have going out. Then we have a third email going out after they receive their product, just checking up, getting some feedback, simply saying, you know, we just wanted to check up on you guys, just make sure that your order actually you receive the right product and that everything came in in the right place, the right situation, you know, no damage, anything like that. Simply showing the customer that you actually care about the fact that they purchased from you and you care about them receiving the product and how the product is for them. Doing that, you know, one, what it does is it shows the customers that you care. The second thing that it does, it gets them used to seeing the emails that are coming from you and just gets them used to also just opening up these emails. This is going to be huge because if you start, you know, off the bat, just sending out different promotion emails and trying to sell the customers different things right away, they may not be open to later on opening more emails. So one of the ways you can start building that relationship with the customer and start following up with them is simply through these emails, right? These are harmless emails that, you know, can have a lot more upside than, you know, you think, right? And this is something that, again, I wasn't doing at first. I actually made the mistake of just sending only promotion emails the whole time. My open rates declined really quickly because all I was doing is sending out these, you know, different promotions. So that's one thing you wanna make sure you implement. So first, you wanna make sure you have a follow-up you know, email sequence. The next one is you wanna transition into sending out value email offers. And what I mean by that is it's super simple, right? Let's say if you were one of those that caught onto the trend with it, when the charcoal toothpaste was a thing, right? Or let's say, not even that, let's say the, the charcoal face mask was another one that was absolutely crushing it. Those are being sold all over and people were buying those things left and right. One of the ways you can send out these value offer emails uh, is simply saying like, you know, simply finding an article or, you know, some type of content uh, around the benefits potential that uh, those charcoal masks have. So an example, something that I would do is if I have a customer that I know that bought you know, the charcoal mask, I look for an article maybe talking about, you know, three or five benefits of using charcoal mask, right? And I would start sending them that as a value email. That way they know that there's actual, I mean, I'm pretty sure when they bought the product, they, they were buying it for a reason, but now you're showing them like actual evidence from different articles that backs up the reason why they bought the first time, right? And there's a reason, again, behind why you're doing this. You wanna make sure you have this going out, that way they see that you're not only trying to sell them things, you're actually showing them value, right? And this is a concept that you're gonna repeatedly do. So after every single product, or even before they buy that product, you wanna be sending out content emails, not only of what they've already bought, but you can send out content emails of you know similar products, which is also huge, because then you can transition into the next part, which I have here, which is incentivizing the customers to come back. So 
An example of a different sequence we would follow is after we send out this value email of simply, you know, let's say an article of three to five benefits of using a charcoal mask, we'll then transition into either sending another, another value email, maybe of another potential product that uh, will go hand in hand with a face mask. An example would be, we would send out an offer email or value email talking about the advantages of charcoal toothpaste, right? We'll send that out just to show them, you know, just complete value because it's relative to the product they already bought. Obviously, you're not gonna send them a product about, you know, you're not gonna send them an email talking about the value of, you know, let's say wearing female leggings because that doesn't really make much sense, but you can send out a content email you know, showing the value and benefits of using charcoal toothpaste because if they bought the charcoal mask, they may more, more than likely be interested in charcoal toothpaste. So that's one you can do right there. But then after that, this is the fun part. You will then wanna start incentivizing your customers to come back to your store and look at other offers you have. Now again, it may be different if you have a general or your niche store, but you can always find a way to do this. And it's huge to have these first few emails before you send this one out is because if you just jump right into this last email, which is the incentive, the incentive emails, you know, with the coupons or different products, you're gonna seem like the business that only wants to send out different promotions and doesn't really care too much about, you know, what the customer thinks or about the product they just bought, that just wants to send them more and more promotions to sell them all these different things. And what happens is if they get an email like that, an incentive email with like a coupon, uh, coupons aren't as bad, but if they get a promotion email with you trying to sell them other products right away after they just bought from you, it can actually increase the chances that they'll unsubscribe from your email list. And again, you won't be able to capitalize off the customer that you got through the door. So you wanna make sure you're following this sequence right here. Uh, again, it's a sequence that I've tested before, so that's why I'm giving you guys, I'm sharing it with you guys, obviously. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it if it didn't already work for us and work for me. Make sure you try that out, this sequence right here. It's, again, it's a sequence you can continue, continually do. The best part about having a sequence like this in place is that you can not only do this sequence, sequence once, but you can continually do it, right? So after you send out you know, that coupon, with the different products they may like, or you know, let's say just a coupon on its own, or maybe you just might send out an offer with different products they may like, you can do the same thing. You can then go back, follow up with them after they, if they, so let's say they buy that product from that offer you just sent out right here, right? You can do the same thing. So you'll go back up the list, you'll follow up with them, make sure everything went well with that customer and that order. You'll then send out another value email, maybe of the same, you know, some value based around that same product, if not value on another product that you think they might like. And then again, send out a promo email, give them a reason to come back, give them a discount, give them a, you know, send them an offer of similar related products. And if you guys don't know like what can be some similar related products, this is actually a hack you can do, you can go on to Amazon, because Amazon is actually the king when it comes to doing this. You can go to Amazon, find out the same product that the customer just bought, look it up there and then just scroll down. They always have products that they recommend that you can buy, either you know frequently brought products or similar related products. And you can just get them ideas from Amazon store of products that you can send out with the, you know, based on you know what kind of products they're coming in, your customers came in to buy. So that's actually a hack that you can actually implement into your business and try it out. Again, it's something that's worked for us. And it's the reason why that you want to have, you want to make sure you have a backend system in place is so that you're capitalizing off for every single customer that's coming through the door. This is an effective way you can do that and an effective way that you can generate extra revenue every single month uh, or every single day doing the same work you're already doing. But again, if you don't have any system in place, then you're simply just leaving money in the door and leaving extra cash that you could have coming into your business. So uh, I hope you guys got value from this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Uh, also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this, you know, this backend system that I kind of went over and shared with you guys. Let me know if you've implemented into your business or, you know, let me know also what kind of backend system you have in place. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.